All right, so let's review a surgical scrub. Now, a surgical scrub is different from a basic hand wash in that we're not just trying to get off most of the transient microbes that might be on there. We want to get all the transient microbes off, and we want to get as much of the residential microbes off of there as well. And we're not doing just down to the wrist. We're going to go all the way down to the elbow and actually a few inches past the elbow. So the surgical scrub does this entire area right here. All right. So to begin, what we're going to do is we're going to get ourselves a soap scrub brush, which I have right here. And we're going to start, very first thing we're going to do is we're going to start by opening this. Now this is sealed, so it's nice and clean, probably sterile in there. We're going to open it up in a way that doesn't touch the inside yet. All right, we open it up to about that point where everything's exposed. We can pop that up a little bit. And then we're going to turn this underneath so that it is sitting there open. And I'm going to sit it onto the, the uh, sink right there, right in front where I can get to it. All right. So now once that's open, I'm again going to do a basic hand wash to start off. Inspecting to check out things. Oh, wait, I forgot something. Look at this. See this ring? I'm not supposed to have a ring, so I'm supposed going to take that off. If I can get it off. There we go. Throw it in my pocket up here. Good enough. No jewelry. No painted nails. Everything has to be clean. And again, no abrasions everywhere. All right, so we're going to do our basic hand wash. Wet the hands. Get some soap. How long do you do this? About 15 seconds so you can sing happy birthday. Happy birthday to me, happy birthday to me, happy birthday dear Mark, happy birthday to me. Making sure you're getting the front and the back. And then when you rinse, this one's gonna be a little bit different. Yeah, keep the fingers pointing down, but you wanna get your all the way up to your elbow wet. So when you start your scrub, your arms are already wet, okay? Now at this point, this is where we sort of begin the scrub. First thing we're going to do is we're going to grab this blue thing right here. This, careful not to touch the sides, this is going to be your nail cleaner. So under the water, while the water is flowing, we're going to scrape under the nail and clean out anything that might be under there. And we're going to do this whether it's clean or dirty, if you can see anything or not. You're going to scrape under every nail on your hand, all ten of them. Okay? And you do that under the flowing water. When you're done, take the little nail cleaner and throw it away. Good. At this point, we're about to actually start our scrub, so we have to be very careful what we touch and what we don't touch. So I now have to get the sponge out of that little holder there. And I don't want to touch anywhere on the side because at this point I'm starting my scrub. And if I touch anything, it's going to contaminate. So the inside of this packaging is clean, so I can stick my fingers in like this and pull the sponge out. If you have trouble getting it out, see this side right here, this lip where the top is folded over? That was inside, so you're still okay to touch that, just not anywhere outside of this. So this one point on the package, that's where you can touch to help pull this out. This is the scrub brush, it has a spongy side and a brushy side. We're going to dip that under the water. Notice how it's already started to suds. Yeah, there's some soap in there. Give it a light squeeze or two. Not a heavy squeeze, just a light squeeze to make it a little sudsy. Maybe add some more water, light squeeze. Look at all the suds coming out of there. Very good. All right. So now the way I'm going to hold this is the plastic has little edges here for the brush. I don't want to hold around here. I'm going to actually tuck my thumb in under this plastic edge and my fingers under this. So I'm holding only the sponge, right? Now, I don't want to squeeze this because that will rip the sponge off the plastic. So I'm just going to lightly hold it. And maybe I can put my finger up here and down here a little bit. But basically, I don't want to be touching the bristles with this hand. This hand should never at this point touch this hand. This hand is still dirty. This hand's the one we're about to clean. So if this hand touches that one, now we have to start over and clean those spots. All right. So the way we're going to do this, dip it in, get a little bit wet, and I'm going to start by doing my nails. And you have to do 
30 strokes across the nails. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 22, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. Now to make this a little bit easier and go faster, notice each stroke. 1, 2, 3, 4. So those went front and back. To make it easier, count every cycle, so every two strokes, and only count to 15. All right, so we're going to do it like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now you've done your nails. You've done 30 strokes, but you've, done, you've hit them twice and you've counted to 15. I hope that makes sense. All right, from there, again, let's get a little bit of suds going on here. All right, good. We're going to pick a side of our hand and I'm going to start over here. I'm going to do my thumb. Now, every side of the thumb has four planes. So you have the back of the thumb, this side of the thumb, this side of the thumb, and the front of the thumb. So those are four sides to the thumb. Finger has four sides, the back of the finger, the side of the finger, this side of the finger, and the front of the finger. All right. So we're going to scrub each of those individually. And we're going to do it 10 or 20 times, 20 strokes or 10 cycles, right? It's going to pass, the brush is going to pass over that spot 20 times, but we're going to do it in cycles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we've done this one side. Now we're going to move on to the next one and do the same thing. I'm going to speed it up a little bit just to save time. And you, when you get better at this, you're going to be able to do it this fast as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Now we're going to move to this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And the front. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I did something there. I don't know if you noticed. I dipped my hand down a little bit. This. See how my pinky's going here? That means if any of the water or anything here, this is dirty, it's gonna run down my pinky. That's not good, we don't wanna do that. We wanna make sure that that stays up. Here's a way to do that. Think about your middle finger and keep your middle finger pointed at the sky. As long as whatever you're doing, your middle finger is pointed at the sky, you should be good. You're not gonna get any of these fingers to probably point downward, all right? It's not super critical, but we wanna try our very best to keep those fingers pointing up. All right, so I've already done the thumb. And one thing I note on the thumb, when I do this, this either side of the hand, either this side or this side, the edge of the hand, I'm not just going to do the finger, but I'm going to go all the way down to the wrist with that scrub, all the way up and all the way down to the wrist. And when I get to the pinky, I'm going to go all the way down to the wrist again there. You're going to see why we do it that way in a moment, uh, a few minutes when I, we get to that. But for right now, we're going to do it that way. So. I did my thumb. When I do my thumb, I want to make sure that I'm getting into the webbing. The webbing is very important to clean, and in between the fingers, it's very important to clean. Now, it's kind of tough to get it in there, so when you're scrubbing your finger, you want to make sure you're forcing it down there nice and tight. All right, so we're going to do this finger again. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. I got down here. Move on to this finger. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Finger. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then this edge, remember, we're going all the way down to our wrist. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. So we, now we've done our fingers. We've done all the fingers, and we've done each of the four sides of those fingers. That's good. Now we have to do the palms of our hands. Again, remember, the brush has to go over any spot 20 times. The easiest way to do this, if we do a straight line, we're going to miss part of it. So we're going to do a circle. All right, we're going to take the brush in a circle around the hand like this. And we're going to do this 20 times because the brush has to pass over each spot 20 times. So let's count it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good. Now notice as I'm doing this, see the soap line? I'm getting down over the wrist. I'm getting up a little bit on my fingers. That's because I'm overlapping the areas that I did previously. All right. Now I've done the front. I already did the side here and the side here when I did my thumb and my pinky. Remember, we went all the way down to the wrist. So that area is covered. The only area left is now the back of the hand. And we're going to do this in a circle 20 times. I'm going to count faster because this is the way you'll get by the time you get closer to the time you actually go to clinicals. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, good. Now you've done your entire hand. Now it's time to work on the arm. Remember how the fingers had four sides to them? Well, your arm has four sides as well. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to divide the arm one, two, three, four, right? Front, back, outside, and inside. And then we're going to divide it into three sections. So the first section is from your wrist to a little over halfway down your arm. See that area right there? The wrist to a little over halfway down. That's section one. And we're going to do four sides around that. Section two is going to be from that point and overlap it a little bit down to about your elbow. One, two, three, four. And then the third section, we're actually going to do the elbow itself plus about two inches up the arm okay away from the elbow so we're going to go one two three four this is the tricky part because you can't see your elbow so you got to make sure you're making nice big circles and get around there and make sure you're overlapping the next time all right so let's try this again we're holding the sponge by the yellow only and we're going to use the brush to do this and i'm going to do circles 20 one two three four five six seven eight 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Move on to the next section. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Back. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Look at my middle finger still pointing to the sky. That's perfect. And to this side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good, we got the top section done. Time to move on to the next one. Down here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. This side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Back. Watch your fingers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Notice what I'm doing here. Even though I'm reaching around the back, the fingers are pointing up to the sky. The arm is tilted upward. So any water that might be up here is going to drain towards the elbow. The key is to get all the water to drain towards the elbow, not away from the elbow. It's going to drain to the elbow and drip off at the elbow. So even if you're reaching way around here, you got to keep that arm tilted a little bit and keep those fingers up so any water is going to drain this way. All right, and then I have one more plane to do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Good. Now I have one more here to do, one more section, right? Up here from the elbow up the arm about two inches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And this one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good. So this arm is now complete. One thing I want to note, as I was doing this, I did not touch any part of this hand or this arm to this hand or this arm. I didn't go like this. I didn't put my fingers over here. I didn't hold the brush like this so that one part is touching the other. That's because this one's clean and this one's still kind of dirty, right? So we don't want to recontaminate. So as you, that's why you put your fingers under the plastic and it sort of protects them one from the other. All right, and the soap is what does the cleaning and the scrubbing. Okay, 
if you do touch, call yourself out. It's not a huge deal, but definitely try not to touch. And if you do happen to, whoops, accidentally touch like that, call yourself out, call it out loudly so that if we're in the room, we hear it. And then we see you go back and scrub that spot. So I touched right there. Oops, I got to re-scrub that spot. How many times? 20 times or 10 cycles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. And now I've cleaned that spot again. All right. So this arm is now done. I am going to transfer the sponge from one to the other. Again, not touching. Notice that I'm not touching fingers to fingers. And I'm going to hold the sponge again the same way. And I get to do exactly the same thing I did before over here. So now we're going to go on this arm. And we're going to do exactly the same thing. Starting with the fingernails, 30 strokes, 15 cycles. This is the only one that's different. Everything else is 20. This one's 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That was 15 cycles, 30 strokes. Good. And I'm ready to go. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 14, We've already gotten this side and this side. We have to do the palms in circles. These are 20s. Two. Three. Eight, nine, ten. Good. So now I'm done my scrub. What you'll see a lot in the clinical sites is people will throw the sponge into the sink. That's not really nice. So we want to throw the sponge away. Again, notice how I'm holding my arms. My fingers are still pointing upward and my elbows are still down. So any water is going to drain off of my elbows. So I'm going to carefully come over here and throw the sponge away. Good. Now it's time to rinse. See how I'm holding my arm? You got to keep it in this kind of position with the fingers up and the elbow down. But wait, the water's way down there. This is going to get challenging, right? Think of WWE. You know how they do the wrestling move where they sort of nail somebody like that with the elbow. We're going to do the same thing to get our elbow into the sink because nothing here can touch anything here, including the spigot. All right, now that's going to be kind of in the way. So you have to be really careful. And when you're putting your elbow in, you got to watch that the elbow doesn't hit the edges of the sink. All right, so let's see if I can do it. Holding again, fingers up, down, elbow in. Pass the hand around and under. Now at this point, mo you'll see a lot of people, at this point, you'll see a lot of people just sort of rush through. But look, I still have soap on my arm. So I don't like to do that. What I like to do is take my time. So I'm gonna come down and in, rinse and really wiggle my fingers around. Let's get all that soap off of it. Twist my hand a little bit, take my time. And then I'm gonna work my way up the arm Keeping the fingers pointing up, keeping the arm pointing up, around and around, watching where it goes, so that I get all the soap off. Like that. Notice where the water's dripping. Dripping off my elbow. It's exactly what I want. I'm going to come over here and do the same thing. Elbow down. You can come in this way. Some people come in from the back and put your hand in here. Keeping these fingers up over here, watching what you're doing. Rinse this hand first. Make sure you get all that soap off of there. Spend some time, that's okay. Now, once you've got your hand cleaned, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Fingers are still pointing up, all the way up to that elbow and around. And look at that water dripping off of there. Perfect, good job. All right, so now my hands are clean. I have rinsed. I cannot, at this point, touch anything. I can't go and turn the water off. That's why we use our knees like that. All right. I cannot run over and get a towel because my hands are now clean. That would contaminate them. At this point is when you walk into the room, into the OR and put your gown and your gloves on. 